guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nick the Booksmith, and this is this is video 2.0. <laughs> I messed up and I forgot some things, so we're gonna just we're just gonna scratch the other video about the the teachable binding course uh, info, and we're we're just gonna redo this. Just forget, just scratch it. So anyway, so um, the first of the uh, binding videos that um, I will be teaching on Teachable is, is loaded up and some of you have already purchased the course. Thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying it um, and I hope you can use it in your book covers. So um, it's called the Hollow Back Binding and this is something that I tried oh, about a year ago, um, about the turn of the year, you know, this past year. And I tried it but I kept coming up with some issues that I wasn't overcoming and I did not like how it um, how they came out. So I kind of put it on the back burner and shifted away from that and started doing the binding that I do in the Booksmithers course, which is a tried and true and perfected method. Um, but me being me, <laughs> I like to have different kinds of bindings that I use, and there are about four different types of bindings that I uh, that I do use. So, that being said, um, I've been having requests for kind of beginner uh, binding tutorials, um, inexpensive, easy to adapt to different situations, and so about a month ago. I revisited this this binding technique, this new binding technique, and I I was able to overcome. It's kind of like one of those middle of the night things where you're like, aha, <laughs> but if I did this, this, and this, it'd be fine. And so there I went on my journey again, and I was able to get exactly what I wanted, exactly, exactly. So since the uh, booksmith binding is taught in the booksmith course, I'm not going to teach that on Teachable. That is that is specific to that course, and it would I. So that's not what I'm teaching. This is a this is another option for folks that um, want to bind their their covers or gutted book covers. Um, it's it's similar in some aspects to the booksmith binding because basically all binding has to have some similar elements. I mean, they all get sewn into a certain backing. I mean, that's all going to be the same no matter no matter what unless you're going Coptic. <clears throat> but every like hidden stitch binding will have similar properties to it. So, um, so some of those things are going to be simple, similar, but this hollow back binding is um, a little bit different than the booksmith course um, binding tutorial, um, but I think it's adaptable even to beginners. So folks that maybe are not comfortable with making their own covers and so they're gutting books. And so with the with the booksmith binding uh, technique, um, I don't think I would use that in a gutted book for certain reasons. I, I mean, you can for sure, depending on the book cover, but I won't get into that because it's like I'd be sitting here for two hours explaining why. So, so that's why I was trying to come up with a with a beginner's binding course too that would be adaptable for folks that are not making their own book covers yet, but or maybe they prefer to go find an old book and gut it and and bind it with pages. So I kind of needed something that would go either or. Um, if you're making your own book covers or if you're not making your own book covers. Does, does this make sense? So the, the, this course, I think, um, I think is very adaptable to that. You guys might remember this book cover. This is the book I made in the 1902 Philadelphia course um, on, on Teachable. So this, this is, is that book. And I bound it with that new hollow back binding tutorial. Um, it, it looks a little different than the booksmithers um, than the booksmithers binding, and so 
folks may or may not prefer one or, or the other. And that's totally, totally personal preference because they both work. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's going to be up to you. So, um, so here is an example of the hollow back. It lies nice and flat. You can use it on books like this one has just barely a rounded spine. Do you see how the light's shining on it? How it's barely, oh, let me pull back the, the cheesecloth. See how it's just barely rounded? And then we've got some book covers that are much more rounded, like this one that I made, you know, two months ago <laughs> that I still haven't filled. Um, so, so look at this puppy. I mean, this puppy's pretty, pretty rounded compared to, compared to this guy. You can probably see, see the difference. See how much more rounded th this one is than this one. And then like this one, this one's kind of in between. <laughs> this one and this one so um, and then we've got this one and this one is more more like more like this guy so um, so different spines will come out with different curvatures but this binding tutorial should work for anything that you make and also especially for gutted book covers so like I said, I wanted something adaptable to both. I gotta fill these with some paper, don't I? Look at these, just they're just sitting around waiting for me to, to do something with them. This is me rambling. Okay guys, so if you are interested in the Hollowback Binding course, it is the description in the description bar, the link to my school is in there. It is a very affordable course, so it's not a huge, um, money investment and another thing i wanted to say to everybody about any course you take whether it's my course or somebody else's course or it's a book you buy or whatever if you are going to be using the techniques in your business it is absolutely totally tax deductible um, at least in the u.s I can't say if you're living in another country because I don't know how your tax rules and some of you don't even have income tax. You have like a flat sales tax and you don't even got to worry about that kind of stuff. But if you are living in the States, um, my tax lady said that any course you take, um, whether it's online or in-person workshops or books you buy or conferences you go to, whatever it is, that that is continuing education. If you're using it for your business, it is absolutely tax deductible. They just take it right off and your taxable income goes down. And so it's getting close to tax time. And so I wanted you all to know that to add up all the stuff that you've been buying during the year, because I know we all buy books and and we do all sorts of things to learn new techniques so please remember to take those off your taxes and um, take advantage of that tax break for self-employed folks so thank you so much for stopping by and letting me redo this video and add some information and and you know make it all clear <laughs> and I hope everybody is having a great day and I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will catch you guys soon um, if not a journal share video I've got another DIY fun thing to um, to upload so we'll be we'll be doing that too okay you guys have a good one and I'll catch you soon bye guys <laughs>